Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous classes, we have seen the general characteristics of underdeveloped countries or developing countries. Then we built our idea of the economic characteristics and then we built on to something called as the technological characteristics of a developing country or underdeveloped country. In today's class, I have for you the demographic characteristics of an underdeveloped country or a developing country. So let's get started. The first point here is talking about high growth rate of population. Now high growth rate of population particularly boils down to something called as the majority of population is in the lower age group that is the children are below the age of 15 years. That means the population is unproductive population. So let us look at it from a very different perspective. What I'm saying here is the population is growing constantly at a rate of three to four percent in the developing economies. And as a result of that, you have the youngest population or something called as demographic dividend, which is coming up. But that dividend is not productive dividend. That dividend is unproductive dividend, which is the age of the children is below the age of 15. Now, when you look at the pyramid of or the age profile, you have 0 to 15 years which is called as the dependent population then you have 16 to 60 years which is the working population or the independent population and then you have 60 plus which is again the dependent population so you find majority of the populace in this category which is 0 to 50 uh, 0 to 15 age group and as a result you find that the high growth rate of population is a trouble for most of the developing economies in the world and hence we are studying it as a characteristic of any underdeveloped or developing country to be very precise. So I hope the idea is pretty much clear with respect to high growth rate of population. Let us now look into high dependency burden. Now what effectively happens is since the majority of the population is in this range which is 0 to 15, what effectively happens is they are not actually contributing in the production process and when they are not contributing in the process of production they are dependent upon the people who are contributing to the process of production but as a result of high number of these unproductive or dependent populations the effective rate at which the country should grow is being hindered so this is again a problem which is high dependency burden for example i am earning 10000 rupees a month but i have to feed 10 individuals then th then i will not be saving a and then it is really difficult for me to grow, improve my standard of living and all of that. And as a result, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, in the same strata and as a result of that remaining underdeveloped. So this is how you can look at high dependency burden from a very different perspective as a characteristic or demographic characteristic of an underdeveloped country or a developing economy. Let us now move to something else, which is again an interesting fact, which is poor standard of living and life expectancy. Since we have very brittle healthcare system which is coupled with unhygienic living conditions in most of the developing economies what effectively happens is the standard of living is deteriorated and as a result of that my life expectancy that is the age till which i will be able to live properly is 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 uh, terrible and and poor in most of the developing economies so as a result this poor standard of living and life expectancy is again a demographic characteristic of most of the developing economies across E, uh, across at least South Asia to be very precise yeah so let us now move to the next point that is poor nutrition now poor nutrition results into a lot of health ailments one is you are malnutrition the second is you have health emergencies and ill health and as a result of that your productivity or your contribution to the process of production reduces when your productivity reduces obviously the output is going to reduce and as a result of it your income is going to reduce and and obviously that reduced income is also spent on something called as the health emergencies which are happening because of poor nutrition and as a result of that there's a spiral which is taking you into deep trouble and this is again a characteristic of or the demographic characteristic of developing countries or underdeveloped economies to be very precise. Let us now move to something very important which is the basic facilities or the basic facilities are really terrible and they are poor in shape. Now just look at pipe drinking water or pure drinking water, sanitation, healthcare services or health centers they are in terrible condition and as a result of that the economic environment becomes terribly poor and therefore this plays an important role whenever we, we are looking at the demographic characteristic of any 
any any underdeveloped economy to be very precise so you have to have good basic facilities at least sanitation as well as piped water connection so this is again an important point let us now move to something which is very important as far as developing economies are concerned which is called as brain drain now what is effectively happening is there is outflow of my skilled labor now when the skilled labor is taking education in the domestic country and getting out of the country just to earn better earnings what is effectively happening is he or she is contributing to the betterment of any other country no matter he is sending some remittances back home but primarily he is contributing to the development of that particular economy wherein he he or she is working and as a result of that the economies which which have very good demographic characteristic that is very uh, talented individuals or skilled individuals they are at the backdrop so they are the ones who are on the losing side and therefore brain drain is again a demographic characteristic of developing economies or underdeveloped countries so i hope the idea of demographic characteristics is pretty much clear please stay tuned thank you